human vessels that God have used and not seeing yourself as God. I want this to be, I want to say this clearly, that we do appreciate the role our leaders, more especially the middle class government for it, but that is not enough for me to worship a human being. I can do that. Uh, this is not an election season, but unfortunately, every other day we are invaded uh, by one and um, crazy political developments, uh, which keeps hampering the progress of this state. And we do know that uh, there can be no progress, there can be no prosperity uh, without peace, without cooperation. We have decided that uh, I want to be governor forever. River State, I own River State. That is where, I mean, I have signed that I'm going to be there till the end of this world. Eh? You just, just quit your job. Just hands up. Say, I'm no, I'm no longer a minister. I'm no longer a minister of FCC, please. Uh, I want to resign. I mean, uh, Portacourt is where I will live forever. Because I don't see any reason why you are disturbing this man. Allow this man, Fubara, to rest. Allow him to rest. You can't, you can't live in Portacourt. You want to live in Abuja. You want to live in Sokoto. You want to live in London. Call this man this place. Give this man space. Give him space. Ha! I don't know why you people don't even think that all these things you people are pushing is vanity. One day you guys gonna die one day. I'm gonna die as I'm talking. I will leave everything. Until you start having this mindset that this thing you are pushing power. Power. You will die and leave it one day. Fubara gave a speech. He said something. He said, why are we fighting? About we, we, where is him? He left everything. If they should tell him that this journey you are taking, you will die. He wouldn't have. He gave a speech and believed that no need for him to fight. This is a time for me to give to my people. Please give him space. Allow him to rest. And for better for you, do continue to do the right thing. You see, you make a speech. I mean, that speech is so amazing. You said you will please your God. And it's only God that you will please. You can't please man. Continue, the, continue, kudos to you. Do the right thing. Please your God and don't please, I mean, whatever, or Winke or his people. Continue to do the right thing and continue to please your God. God is the only one that will never disappoint you. If you say yes, yes is yes. Me, I don't understand. All this money you guys are pushing, looting, 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 all these things. Your children, they are going to good school. Maybe they don't even live in, in Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken. Your family people are comfortable, good house, you are okay. You people should allow the poor to breathe, allow them, give them space. If Ubara have decided, I mean, this is the time for me to work for my people, allow him to do it. Enough for all this uh, chinanigo, all this braha, all these things that is going on in, in social media, all these disturbance. You guys should allow this man, give him space, Wiki. Give Kubara space to do the right thing. And for the people in House of Assembly who are disturbing, kudos to you, Fubara, for changing them. Anyone that disturbs you, change them. Please your God, don't please man. Okay, guys, let me know your comments in the comment section. Peace. And give the video a thumbs up. One love. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your comment. Peace. What is it? Why did they still
to do it. Just imagine. The government has come to what type of wickedness is this? I'll call it demolition box because it is not a lawful demolition of structures. A, a lawful demolition of structures will only take place when there is a contravention of any of the substantive provisions of the law and when a developer did not obtain the requisite approvals prior to the development of the structures. The Lagos states, they just came with a caterpillar to demolish, without to demolition notice. And I've been giving them, I went to the, in two years ago, when they came for this demolition, they, that they want to do this canal, I went to their office at Alausa. I gave them my approval and the paper that I had. They told me it's going to be, it's not going to have very fence. They've seen it when I'm doing it. They come and visit all the time. They didn't talk about village permit. So they, don't, they never come. I finished the house like uh, December of this year. On the Tuesday, the next day, which is on the 16th of April, they, found, they demolished all the house. It's a brand new house. I just built it. Never did I think that today will happen. A day where the government was is on God. us as yes. deaf in the ears. I was literally begging the commissioner that how they are going to take this place down. Give us time. Existence for almost 20 years. So all the documents, legal consents, was gotten from the government, and they actually are not built on the canal. Their fence is not on the canal. Individually, they were given um, the, the um, bill for the bills for land use charge and all of that, but we were never notified about any of this in Africa. We live here for over 15 years. If people have lived here for 15 years, Governor Fashola has seen this building, there was no problem. The Ambo they have seen this building, there was no problem. They've gone to court, they've gotten warnings on this. How come for a government that claims continuity, why is it that? For 15 years, the government has approved of this, and then all of a sudden, another government comes and wants to destroy this thing. I'm not even give people enough notice to be able to get their things, and there is no consequence to the government for this kind of aberration. There have no, there are no conversations about compensation. These people all have their legal titles, their global of work that has a governor's consent. So on what basis will this kind of violence be done against citizens? The biggest achievement Shaolu has ever made is to demolish people property. People are there building school, building hospital. People are there doing a lot of things. But his own is just to be demolished. Demolish. Oh, you hear it? He demolished this person building. He do this. He do that. You know, if you are doing something, you believe that, oh, I'm on top of the world. Let them see. You don't even care. You don't even think. You try to put yourself in the people's shoe. Try to say, okay, let me just put myself. If this is my house or if this is my building, maybe someone did this kind of thing. How am I going to fail? If you are this type that you don't think about repercussion, when you are doing something, think about disadvantage, advantage. I mean, I don't know what to call you. But I want you to understand that even Bible that we are reading, the word of God said that there is no peace for the wicked, that the wicked must perish. You see, some of you might be thinking that, oh, it's a guy. That man will say it's a guy. Let me do whatever I mean. I, I mean, I'm doing after I'm a governor. But remember that God is watching. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Before you, we have governors. We have governors who have been in that position, but they did not for one day, I mean, say that this land or this house, they must demolish it, they must do this, they must do that, or this, this, this. They did not even say against anything. But why is it that during your own turn, what you can do, we are talking about hardship. People are crying. Last time, we all know what happened, how a lot of a lot of tragedy, a lot of things that happen. People cannot provide food. Then now, you believe that, or oh, you might be thinking that, oh, yes, you are doing something, or maybe you are doing the right thing, or you don't care. Whosoever that want to talk, they should talk. But the precaution is coming. It's so bad that people are crying. You think that this, all these tears that people are weeping, you see tears. Someone will be crying and saying, oh, Oh, this is my husband. 
there was there was this woman I saw. I said, my husband has property. Maybe that property inside that property, he's using it to feed his children. He's using it to pay rent. He's using it to solve his problem. And now, what do you think that? How do you? How is he going to do? You know, before you do something, you have to think very well and say, okay, this thing I'm doing. What is the repercussion? You don't just wake up one morning and you believe that all is well. Let me do it. I'm a governor. It's, I mean, I don't care. Anyone can talk. And then we talk about, oh, if uh, Lagos State will be fine or if Nigeria... Is it, is it about the land? At least somebody will have food to eat now before you start saying, oh, Lagos State is good. Uh, like, because all these things, they are all vanity upon vanity. Even Bible said, don't tell someone who is hungry. Tell the person to go. Give the person food. At least masses, they should eat first. They should eat first. Before maybe we start talking about being comfortable, comfort zone. Before you start, if you come to Western world, a place like Germany, at least they provide food for their citizens. They provide food for even for immigrants. They provide food for everybody, whether you are working or not. Then now, talk about maybe... A playground or maybe activities where you can cash on or talk about the road or talk about so many things. But at least they, they, they put their citizens first. So if, I mean, if they are, they are talking about, let's forget about uh, emotion, let's do the right thing, let's be, if, we talk, if you want to talk about doing the right thing, I mean, we are talking about maybe many graduates, no job, give them job, build infrastructure, it was, Build hospital, build work, do something that people will see and say, okay, at least. Not by maybe demolishing poor, we're talking about the poor are getting poorer, the rich are getting richer. I mean, for me, I condemn the act. For whatever reason, you call yourself, you're a governor, whatever, Samoru, whatever, whatever reason that make you to do this. For me, it's no, no, no. Remember, all you know is now. You don't know the next thing that will happen. You might be thinking that, oh, you have the whole, you have everything, you're on top of the world. It is only eight years. Very soon you will step down. You don't know the next person that will be there. Remember to face the war. Because all these things you are doing, God is watching. The evil that men do, live with them, not after them. That is just my take. Let me know your take in the comment section. Watch the video and let's keep rolling. Peace and watch the video. end of this video, thanks for watching. If you are new in my channel, you are highly welcome. Don't forget to press the bell notification so that each time I post a video, you'll be notified. I embrace all my new subscribers. You guys are so amazing. My old subscriber, you guys are so amazing. Keep supporting your guy and never you give up. Put God first in whatever you're doing. Once there is life, there is hope. Never you give up. Let's keep talking. Let's keep pushing. One day, we're going to get it right. Subscribe, subscribe, and join the beautiful family. I love you. One love. I love you. Bye-bye. Thanks for supporting me. One love. I love you guys.